this theory actually would help nice nerdy guys that you're like i don't know i just can't see myself making out with them it's almost like well if you're basically like well we have to make out at this moment yeah uh, that's a situation that's like that those guys that's when they surprise you those dudes right and uh a millionaire matchmaker actually one of her quotes is you don't know until you kiss it that's right. That's and what so I'm that's saying. what she always tells the women with the saying. nerdy guys. She goes, you, you don't, don't know. know. You don't know. That nerdy guy might be back in some fucking heat. You don't know. He might have mad chemistry. Yo, but like you got to Yo, the kiss is everything. Yeah. It's really everything. If you are a bad kisser, it's like, yo, I know the rest of this is trash. Yeah. So funny. On my episode with Palufo, I was like, can you fix a bad kisser? And she was like, oof, no. But then I was like, do you think you can improve someone in bed? Like you could fix someone who's bad in bed? And she said yes. And I was like, time out. I'm like, how? I was like, how kissing, do you get to the bed part if kissing you, the is like an, bad? It, Kissing's like an innate thing. It's like you have to you have to spend time in the gym yourself. Kissing is free throws. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yeah. Like you, yeah. Ha- you have to like spend time hitting your your thousand free throws in a row. No rim, no backboard, just swishes. Do you mean with another person or let's be real real honest here on the Patreon? Not like on the pillows and shit. You've never made out on a pillow or a shower wall or on your arm, <laughs> nothing like that? I feel like we're getting real honest about you. <laughs> <laughs> she listed off 13 inanimate objects just now. This is very common. I've heard people talk about this and I will admit I've made out with a pillow. I mean, that's I've like... I've done the pillow. That's like, you know, middle school, but like, you know... Not- yeah, but... Yeah, but I'm saying like as an adult. I was getting my free throws in, man. Don't. <laughs> yeah. That's you want to talk about practice? Right. I know yeah. all about practice. Yeah, practice. I had practice every day after We're school. Talking about and practice. then every night with my pillow. <laughs> 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 well, let me tell you something. I've gotten a lot of good kisser compliments. Yeah. So I'm not embarrassed to tell everyone I have made out with my pillow. That's so funny. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Shooters Gotta Shoot. I am your host, Erica Spera. And today we are doing a special Patreon preview for our public listeners. All right. I recorded a fun episode with my buddy Jordan, and we ended up talking for a long time. And so I have two halves of it. I'm I'm premiering the first half to the public. If you'd like the second half of the episode, join our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash shooters gotta shoot. We are almost at our goal of 300 members. And when we hit 300, We'll be doing a live show with your favorite guests and myself, and we'll be answering all your questions, having a great behind the scenes, uncensored, wild time. So if you're enjoying the show, guys, join our Patreon, especially if you enjoy this episode today. But also some things you can do for free is subscribe to us on YouTube. We got the link in the description, or you can search us on YouTube at Shooters Gotta Shoot Podcast, uh, or you could leave us a review. That always helps too. Leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts. Those are some free ways you can help us tell a friend, spread the word, because we're having a good time and everybody should have a good time with us. So without further ado, uh, here's your sneak peek at our Patreon behind the scenes episodes. Enjoy. You know him, you love him. My good buddy, Jordan Fisher, everybody. Ooh, ooh. What's good? Ooh, ooh. Thank you for coming on. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me. We I'm... out here, late night gang, yeah. <laughs> recording this shit uh, about I'll be, it. I'll be honest, a little part of it was I've been so slammed getting ready to go away that I was like, oh, I need a Patreon episode. Hey, I'm ready at all times. <laughs> you throw the bat signal in the sky, it'd be a microphone <laughs> like yeah. in the sky, and I come swooping in. Ready to record. Let's yes. do this, baby. Thank you for coming. Behind the paywall. That's right. Can get real. You got to pay to hear me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not out here except for, for free. The, except for the four other episodes that you're <laughs> hey, on. we don't talk about that. <laughs> I done leveled up. You got to pay to hear this voice. <laughs> anyway, I want to bring this up because mm-hmm. I discovered this recently. I told you about it. There's that Facebook group in New York <laughs> called Are We Dating the Same Guy? Yo. So yeah. out the gate, what are your thoughts on this group, Jordan? I just, well, I'm always surprised how many groups women just have on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got like a Tupperware group. I'm like, where's all this unity coming from? <laughs> I don't even <laughs> you know. All these groups, and also it's like, how many, how many red flags are you ignoring to the point where there's a group that's like, hey, are are we fucking the same dude? 
Like there, you have to ignore a bunch of red flags at that point to to take it to Facebook, where people are selling their couches and shit, and you sifting through all these political posts where you're like, yeah, let me figure out my relationship life on Facebook. Yeah, or it's just, it is something that's like there has to be something telling you that you would have the desire to go to the group and go, hey, I am exclusively dating this person or like this is my boyfriend, but for some reason I feel the need to post a picture yeah. of him and go, by the way, anybody else dating Brian? It's fucking insane. <laughs> like, it's fucking, that's how millennials are doing bad. We can't afford private investigators anymore. Yeah. Like now we're just out here posting online. But that's like, if, you, if you're if you posting on that, break up with the person. If you're even. that's what That's my feeling. Yeah. If you're posting on that at all, then it's it's done yeah you're done there's no there's no possible way it's like going well especially like you don't trust the person for for obvious reasons mm-hmm. unless you're just that much of a fucking you know insecure person where you just start dating this person you're three months in and you're like hey <laughs> <laughs> just in case anybody yeah. else know brian yeah it's just it feels sad to me it's pretty sad and i'm and i'm the i'm never someone to go look through your partner's shit or look through their phone. But yeah. I, for, in this scenario, I go, how about you just look through their phone instead <sighs> of posting to a Facebook group of people? Something. Also, it's like, at what point are you posting to that? Like, how long y'all been in a relationship? Like, if you're, like, a few years in, then, like, and you're posting that, then... Wh- well, that's the thing. My friend told me this story because she was like, I got added to this group. She's like, I'm going to deep dive. There's some story of somebody who was dating someone, apparently boyfriend, for three years... And and I don't know if that woman posted it or another woman posted it. And she's like, wait, that's my man. And whatever came to life. It just feels like an anxiety she needs, spiral. She to needs be to in go get her women's intuition recalibrated. She got to take that back into the <laughs> shop and get it tuned up. Because any like anybody with three years, three years, three years. And turns out apparently had two other girlfriends or something. What's, I, I want to know how this dude is like navigate. Like how is, what's his excuse game? Like of I why he know. can't be there on Wednesdays and Fridays. That would be impressive. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's anytime a guy's been getting with other women, I, there's something telling me that that was going on <laughs> and I was right. And I didn't even need heart proof. And you eventually find out. Yeah. Like I'm someone we know, you know, this guy, I dated for a couple months. No, it was... I dated once, and then I ended up dating again that I never should have, right? But I remember the second time, I was like, oh, it took me a month and a half to figure out you were also sleeping with other people, even though you told me otherwise. Hmm. And then one of the girls, he ended up marrying. Oh, shit. And I was just sitting there being like, you know, I thought about messaging her when I found out, just to be like, hey... Uh, I think we're sleeping with the same dude. I don't know what he's telling you, but this yeah. is what he told me. I'm out. You want him, have him. But that was a month. But that's what I'm saying. I sat there and went, I figured it out in a month. She'll yeah. figure it out. And then she married him. So I was like, uh, is she ignoring signs or is she just right. really wants to be married? I don't know. You know. I know they did not have an open relationship. That I knew. That's not. Also, it's, it's New York. It's such a big city. How are you? Yeah. Like. What? There's seven million people here. It's it, yeah. It's something that I'm kind of like. Some of these posts, my friend sent me a screenshot, and this is of someone we know who's a comedian. Uh-huh. I won't say the name, not the comedian I dated to the Patreon friends, but this is what she wrote. Just a heads up on this guy, uh, name comedian Brooklyn. He's very flaky. <laughs> Basically said that that if we have hooked, we had hooked up, he would have ghosted. I think he's just on the rebound and obviously looking for fun, but isn't honest about it. Can't really do consistently casual, but if you're into it, by all means, and post a photo. This just sounds like a review. Yeah, it's a weird... That's not even a, hey, are we hooking up with the same dude? That's just like, hey, by the way, I did this. He's out there if y'all are interested. Yeah, this annoys me. This, I'm like, why? That's just outing people for no reason. Yeah, like, uh, also, consistently casual is not a thing. Everyone that goes, I think I want something like kind of consistently casual, I go, well, that's not casual. Hmm. That's you want a thing, uh, it's, but a lot it's of times like, it's like a gray area. It's a weird thing that it's like you you feel like I have the right to be annoyed that like I didn't see him this week, and it's like wow. Like I'm consistently casual at the gym. Yeah, I guess. Like you know, hey, yeah, and do it, but 
Yeah, but are you cheating on your gym with other gyms? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby. Hey, Blink, you my number one, but yeah. sometimes I'll be sneaking off to Crunch Fitness a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But Blink uploads a YouTube video right. on their channel. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know if anybody's yeah, seen this guy. I don't guy see you doing bench this... press. Yeah. But sometimes he comes in and does bench press, and yeah. then other days he wants to come in and just kind of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, he's not really at your gym to work out. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. He's, <laughs> I think he's working out at other gyms. <laughs> Just but a this, lot of Instagram scrolling in this exactly. downtime. Exactly, but yeah. this I was like, this just sounds like a man who's just being single. Like this is yeah. not a man who's saying, "Hey, I want to be you, date you, and you be my girlfriend." And da, da, da. That's a great point, point. and people got to understand like, like d- the difference between just being single. Like it's okay yeah. to just be single. That doesn't right. mean just go fucking, you know, like writing up a Yelp review on this dude on Facebook about him just being a normal guy, right? Being but, single because you're being single too. Like, oh, what? He doesn't want to see you every day? Big whoop. Mm-hmm. Like, that doesn't yeah. merit any type of, like, you know, hey, yeah. I got to put an APB out on this dude and no. let all my, my fucking girlfriends that I don't even know. Yeah. No, there's definitely posts in there that are like, I think this person's just a little butt hurt. And yeah. been, been bummed that either that person didn't want to date you or that it didn't work out. Yeah, but it's like you can't be essentially dating someone, even if it's even if it's say let's say five dates, whatever. You, there's just been no conversation of are you dating other people, and then you have that conversation, and they're like, yes, I am. That's not a scenario. You got to go to the group and be like, um, okay, well, and it's like, uh, you asked him, and he told you the situation, because yeah. even this. That's real honest. And he goes, yeah, honestly, if we did hook up, I probably would have ghosted you after. I was yeah. like, that's, that's actually being very yeah. honest, if yeah. you ask me. Just being straight up. He's like, hey, it's a good thing yeah. you didn't, you know, do anything with me. I know. Like, I'm not good friends with this guy. I just know who he is. But if I was, I'd almost run into him and go, hey, man, sometimes there is such thing as being too honest. And maybe don't say that ghosting thing to people. <laughs> that doesn't make women feel good. Yeah. But I can see him trying to almost be like, your instinct is correct. I do not want to date you. I probably would have disappeared. So, yeah, eh, good for you. All right. See but you on the it, other but, side. But, you know, it's good to be honest. Like, you know, to, to say like, hey, yeah, I'm sleeping with other people. Like, I don't know. That's a fair thing to, to do. Oh, I, it's 100% fair. Because my biggest thing is. And it's like you can't like, unless it's like y'all had a, already like a conversation saying like hey we're exclusive and we're going to turn it like mm-hmm. we're working on turning this into something like you can't get too upset about that if you if somebody flat out says like yeah i'm hooking up with other people or you ask and they're like yeah yeah i'm, I'm seeing other people right now like before you even get to exclusivity then that's that's more than fair game that's just part of the game yeah i almost feel like new york is it's like that's that's what new york has taught me it's like never assume someone is only dating you yeah like, you really can't tell there's some type of conversation. And I've had those conversations, and people have lied. Yeah. And yeah, it sucks, and it upsets me, but it's like, all right, well, once I found out they lied, I just leave. Yeah, people people lie because they're afraid. Yeah. They're afraid of either, either hurting your feelings or they're afraid of losing their situation. Oh, you know, yeah. Their consistency. And then, you know, but then it comes and bites them in the ass. Yeah. But I've, I've told the truth, and it's also been like, you know, it's, you know, they get upset, but it's like, hey, like, you wanted the truth yeah i'm gonna tell you the truth yeah it just it reminds me of have you ever heard this saying it's like your fuck boy is someone else's husband ah. and it's like that's what that's what the vibe of this group feels like from a distance right now it just feels like yeah, yeah this guy just didn't want to be with you yeah but like some other girl actually might be dating that guy now she's like i mean he's treating me great so that's the thing hey people need to realize sometimes sometimes it'd be you like like, it's like (laughs) (laughs) it's like you're not Uh, a bad person yeah but to to the person you're hanging out with you're not their person yeah you know and it it doesn't it's no it's no like ill will or negativity about you or whatever it's just like y'all have what you have in its own container Mm mm-hmm but don't expect it to be something more than that. Yeah. And they might vibe well more with the other person that they've been hanging out with. And, the, you know, that's the person they go on to, you know, have a real relationship with. Right. Like, and, you know, and it's like, you know, you can't always feel like, but I'm, you know, special or a catch or whatever. Like, and you are like, like, you know, you, you should have self worth and self esteem and know that like you deserve love and a relationship and all that. But don't let that get in the way of realizing Sometimes, like, 
the relationship is just y'all having fun or whatever and doing mm-hmm. your thing. And you may have good conversations and all that, but that doesn't mean it's going to turn into a relationship. No, it's like, and I've been, I've, I feel like everyone has done this where like, you're so just wrapped up in how much you like them mm-hmm. that you're almost just ignoring that. Like they clearly don't like you as much. Right. They're just around enough. Like they're giving you enough mm-hmm. that it's making you happy. And you're like, oh my God, I have this person. And you're like so excited. And, yeah. da, da, da. and then like when it ends and you're finally over it, you look back and you're like, oh yeah, I was the one doing all the work. Mm. I was the one very into them. And it's like, oh, they actually didn't really care about me on the yeah. level that I cared for them. And yeah. it sucks. It sucks to feel that later. It does. It but, does suck. Yeah. I feel like, you know, these dudes now, it's like, you gotta, you gotta get them. You got to hold out on them. Like not put out? Yeah. That's something that like when I started the show, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, you know, because everybody has got a different story. It works out for some people. Yeah. But honestly, if you really want to date someone and mm-hmm. really find someone to be with long term, yeah, I am a thousand percent now in the boat of waiting. Yeah. Waiting and also not just like wait, like also being like, you got you got, like you kind of kind of like force them to uh you know do shit like, oh what do you mean like, like daty like, shit or yeah, like daty shit like you you gotta be like kind of up front like oh no we're not just gonna come like go hang out like at your place oh, or yeah, like whatever no. like it, it'll be like so what you got in mind you know you gotta put it on them like yeah. so what do you want to do what are, we, what are we gonna do you know, and it's like mm-hmm. you know first date whatever like drinks cool whatever but like next time, like it's like, oh, I was thinking we were gonna go do this. Like if you say the woman comes up with the second date idea or whatever, it's like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, I was thinking we go down to the pier or whatever. It's like, okay, all right, cool, yeah, yeah, sure, we can do that. Yeah. And then third date, uh, yeah, let's hang out again. What uh, what you, what you got in mind? What you, what are we gonna do? And he might be like, oh, I was just dig- you come over. We <laughs> 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 you watch me play Fortnite for fifteen minutes, and then and then oh I God. put on a movie, and it's like, no, 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 no. Like, what are we gonna do? Like, like mm. I've been craving. We should get something to eat. Like, how about you pick out some uh, good place? And he'd be like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like the the man quote plan mm-hmm. that they all come up with when they want to just hook up, but they like almost think like this will make her think it's a date Mm -hmm. is always the, uh, (laughs) is always the, it's always coming to their place. Yeah. And them either, either cooking for you or being like, we'll order in food. Yeah. Come over. Hey, listen, we've all been guilty of that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to keep it real with your listeners. Uh, I know you've done that. Listen, I've, I've been known to put on the chef's apron. (laughs) Your boy's been known to yeah. sharpen the knife and dice up some peppers and chickens yeah. and all I've that kind of people. stuff. Yeah, I've cooked for people I was just hooking up with too. Yeah, yeah. It's like a I've good, been like, I'm it's a great cooking mo- this thing. Yeah. Come over. Yeah, it's a great move. Yeah, it's and a great it is move. a you know, it's a thing of like, but it's also nice. It is nice, but it's also like, uh, kind of something of like, someone comes over and you don't just immediately hook up. Yeah, like it does make it like. Hey, we we can just be yeah, you know. Like, hey, look, like, chill for a minute. You're in a nice environment here. I'm taking yeah. care of you. I'll make right. you a nice home cooked meal. Right. Just sit down, relax. Watch no, watch TV. I'm. You don't need to help me. Also, you That's don't you. need to That's help very me. That's very you, yeah. dude. Like, if I'm cooking in the kitchen, sit your ass down. <laughs> but can they sit in the kitchen and talk they to can, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, of course. It's just I don't want you in my way. Yeah. Like just just sit, have a conversation with me. I'm gonna be cooking, and you know. But this is almost like the purse reach situation where it's like. Don't you want them to kind of offer though? Mm-mm. Like, like if a girl truly walked in and sat down uh, and was kind of no. like, I mean, yeah, she'd offer, but I'd be like, uh, but if she like keeps me, like, are you sure that I'm like, look, just let me take care of this. Yeah. Like I promise. Yeah. Like, cause I got this, I know what I'm making and I know how it's going to be done. And it's like, you just going to be in my way. Like, unless I ask like, Hey, can you just like, you know, uh, throw that yeah. over there or whatever, or like get clear this area real quick for me. But, mm-hmm. you know, other than that, I'm like, I got this. Well, and plus, it's like, I like, like, I, I'm i like the acts of service kind of person. So yeah, I you like are very much. doing the cooking. So it's like, I'm I'm cool with like, just like, hey, just relax. Make yourself comfortable. Let me make right. this meal. But there's something to someone that you, you're like, man, they didn't even like try to help. <laughs> yeah, there's a I little mean, bit like, of something. Yeah, you have I to mean, pick there's, up there's on common it. decency yeah. of just being like, you don't want to be with like some mooch person because that also is annoying. Like when a mooch that just comes in and it's just like, 
oh, that shit smell good. And they just sit down. And See, that's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah Like that like, vibe where they're like, oh, yeah. you said you were cooking and they yeah. just come and sit. Yeah, or don't like help afterwards. Yeah. Like after. After. Like that's where big. it's like, oh, like let me at least like, you know, put the yeah. dishes in the sink for you. Like I, I'm not asking you to wash them or whatever, but if it's just like, hey, let me just clean this up real quick for you. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's a nice gesture. Hmm. Yeah, there is something to like. I'm not one to be like, make them work for it. Right. But there's a little something to being like, if you really want someone that does actually really like you and wants to be with you in a long term thing, there is something to not putting out so quick. There really is, though, because like also, too, it's like it does add like a build up to it where it's like, oh, like I've actually been connecting with this person on like a, a, a personal level. And yeah. then like when you actually, you know, do have sex with them it's like oh like that was nice but i also like i enjoy you know the fact that we got to know each other before we did that and you feel that connection yeah to be honest with you actually the two people i have really the last two people i really have liked Mm -hmm. were both people that they were guys actually who didn't want to sleep with me right away they were kind of more being the ones being like not yet yeah no that's the thing too like i've had that before my last relationship i didn't want to sleep with her immediately really yeah but then she like was like get your ass over here <laughs> <laughs> like this the second date uh, you know i was trying not to do i was like no i don't want to do it like the second date. but then she she you know what women do y'all go to the bedroom and then you come back and grab it. It's like, no, you coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to be like, she just showed up in underwear. I was no, like, that no, is a move. That's yeah, I, no, that's a move, too, for that's sure. But no, like, she she was like, she went to the bedroom and, you know, like, I guess, like, cleaned it up, like, threw, like, whatever under the bed real quick. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then came back and, like, grabbed me by the hand. It was like, oh, okay, I guess we're doing this. Mm. Um, But, yeah, like, like I, I feel that, too, where it's like, oh, no, I actually want to get to know this person. Because, you know, now we're in a hookup culture time yeah like it's so easy to hook up now like you got instagram and you know the 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 apps and stuff and all that so it's easy to just be like what you doing okay yeah let's 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 kick it like come over you know yeah it's easy to have last minute plans yeah and then just and just hook up and if somebody hooks up with you from the jump where you're just like well shit Mm. that was so your brain just immediately thinks it's like it's like opening instagram for the, the start of the day like you get your immediate dopamine yeah. hit. So you're thinking like, well, there's not much more to this. Mm. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm I'm getting the gratification. Yeah. I'm getting the likes. So it's like if you're just hooking up with somebody off the jump, it's like, well, this is what I wanted in the end anyway. Right. Yeah, right? true. So it's like you can get to know each other or whatever, but you're immediately launching your relationship into the point where it's like, oh, this is what we do we have sex not yeah. we don't have we don't do activities we don't get to know each other we have sex so you almost feel like having the sex makes you your brain prior, like categorize them in that it kind of like i feel like as a as a guy yeah it makes you think of them like you know not like they're lesser than or anything it's just like oh like oh well we let me hit her like yeah we're gonna have sex it's just mm-hmm. that's what it is you may not be thinking as much of just like Oh, let's go, you know, to the botanical gardens or whatever and have a day and yeah. then go have sex. It's like it's just it's automatically into the jump of what you up to territory. Mm. Okay. I have two I have two things that I've come across in research of the pod, and I'm curious to get your opinion on. They mm-hmm. have to do with this. Okay. One is something of if a guy really likes you, he will be hesitant to touch you. Hmm. And that was like in terms of like you're on a first date. It's like usually the guy that really likes you is hesitant to be physical with you. Damn. Do you <sighs> feel like that's kind of true? I don't know. That's an interesting theory because I feel like. Because huh. one question is, what's the line of physical? Does it mean he's not going to try to sleep with you? Or does it mean like he's not going to be like a little touchy on your arm or he's not going to kiss you at the end of the date. Like, no, I feel like if I line? like them, I still want to touch them. It may not be like, right. Hey, like let's, you know, jump into sex right away. But like the really liking thing, it's like, yeah. Like I feel like there'd be still some kind of sense of physical touch. Yeah. Maybe it's more just, uh, 
almost feeling a slight hesitancy from them. Yeah. Almost like you could tell they're being like, I don't want to mess this up. Right. Yeah. I want to touch them, but yeah, it's almost like, oh, someone Listen, that's. Listen, I ain't no bitch. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say it's almost like you know someone that actually respects your boundaries. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's no, like wow, yeah. that person likes me. Yeah. yeah. Probably. No. Yeah. I get okay. That. Here's another one. Um, this is I think for the book why men love bitches. It was uh after sex, before sex, men are. It wasn't confused. It was something like. I don't know. And then after sex, men have clarity. It's clarity. It's that post nut clarity. Yes. Okay. And then yeah. it said for women, they have clarity before sex and after sex is when they're confused or when it's Yo, like, that's for real though. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Cause y'all start like you, like you can have sex with, especially if a, if a dude makes a woman come, then it's a wrap. Yeah. Like, that's, for, for y'all, that's, like then it's yeah. like all the, neurological shit starts like firing off and it's like Oxytocin. code red code red yeah uh, i think we like him he's great and, mm-hmm. you know and it's just like yo he he did that to a lot of people mm-hmm. <laughs> like to to you know be able to pull that off well that's every time i would i think that's why like i didn't agree with the whole like oh when you have sex you get attached thing because mm-hmm. i wasn't having good sex mm-hmm. so it's yeah. like if you have good sex with you have somebody, good sex, yeah, you're at least like, well, I want to do that again, right? So you're gonna like play it like, well, at least I'll get to see them again and we'll have yeah. sex again. But uh, yeah, it's something that I was like, no, I'm like, I've had plenty of guys I've like hooked up with, and da da. And then finally, when I was old enough, that sex was just much better, and I yeah. was more vocal about what I wanted, or or I even think just we all get better with age. So as you're da- dating people that are older, and you're now having consistently better sex. Yeah. now i'm like uh yeah yeah i'm like yeah like there's almost something like making out with someone where you go oh uh, nope they're gonna be good yo li- when my brain's like don't sleep with them bro you're I, gonna want this all the time i've run this by you but <laughs> i really think we should start adapting this uh or adopting this is that we need to start kissing at the very start of the date at wait the be- kissing at the start of the date we kiss at the beginning of the date because it eliminates all the, you know, like, because you're going on a date because you're attracted to this person somehow. I mean, right? men are, but yes. Right? Uh, like A lot of women go on dates for other reasons. I'm going to be blind. But, like, you know, like, there's, I'm not saying, like, just physical, but you're attracted okay, to yeah, them yeah, yeah. somehow. Yeah. You're like, nice guy, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's something. all that. But kissing is a big tell. <laughs> like, you can be a bad kisser, and it just ruins well, it, yeah. Everything. 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 So it's like, yeah, start mm. with the kiss. And if you're bad, it's like, thanks for coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go to a movie alone <laughs> and, and you have uh. good luck on whatever you're not. But if you if you kiss at the beginning of the day and it's good, then you're like, that was nice. Now, tell me about your childhood trauma. Then we can get to learn mm. each other. Then it's worth investing into like getting this because like, yo, I I recently like uh made out with some girl and I was like, I can't believe we spent three months DMing each other back and forth, like well, trying to a- trying to land like well, you know, schedules get busy and all that kind of stuff. But it's no, like but I'm still like that is a crazy amount of time to it's a, wait it's a crazy, to meet someone. Yeah, it is a crazy amount of time. But it's like you know, like it's like we kept trying to like get together and it's like schedules get crazy and then I have to go out of town and blah blah. But like when we finally made out, it was like, oh, this is bad. Mm -hmm. This is horrible. Mm -hmm. So let's just let's just eliminate all that. Mm. Okay, here's the thing. I understand what you're saying. I don't fully disagree, but I disagree on the sense that like a lot of times it's just a being comfortable around them thing. So it's just like uh, especially an online date or even say it was someone that was in my DMs. It's like. I'm not going to be so comfortable around you the second I meet you. Of course To not. want to do that. But I would almost be like, there should be a timer on the date hmm. that like, let's talk for 20 minutes. Yeah. And when the timer's up, it's kind of like, are you feeling this? <laughs> yeah. Like, be honest. Like, are you feeling this? Not feeling this? Like, right. do you want to spend another 20 minutes together? And if the answer is yes, then I'd be like, then the kiss. Yeah. Okay. I it's see all, and it's like it's yeah, like this is gonna it. be the tide that turns you know yeah. the change in the tide that turns the battle or whatever that saying is like this <laughs> is the moment to go yeah. we're either going forward or not and and this is the thing about your theory here this theory actually would help nice dudes yeah 
this theory actually would help nice nerdy guys that you're like, I don't know. I just can't see myself making out with them. It's almost like, well, if you're basically like, well, we have to make out at this moment. Yeah. Uh, that's a situation that's like that. Those guys, that's when they surprise you. Those dudes. Right. And uh, a millionaire matchmaker, actually, one of her quotes is you don't know until you kiss it. That's right. That's and what so I'm that's saying. what she always tells the women with the saying. nerdy guys. She goes, you, you don't, don't know. know. You don't know. That nerdy guy might be back in some fucking heat. You don't know. You might have mad chemistry. Yo. But like you got to yo the kiss is everything yeah it's really everything if you are a bad kisser it's like yo i know the rest of this is trash yeah so funny on my episode with palufo i was like can you fix a bad kisser and she was like oof no but then i was like do you think you can improve someone in bed like you could fix someone who's bad in bed and she said yes and i was like time out I'm like how I was like how kissing, do you get to the bed part if kissing you, the is like an bad? A, it, kissing's like an innate thing. It's like you have to you have to spend time in the gym yourself. Kissing is free throws. <laughs> yeah, you understand? Yeah, like you yeah. Ha, you have to like spend time hitting your your thousand free throws in a row. No rim, no backboard, just swishes. Do you mean with another person or? Let's be real, real honest here on the Patreon. Not like on no pillows and shit. You've never made out on a pillow or a shower wall or on your arm, <laughs> nothing like that. I feel like we're getting real honest about you. <laughs> <laughs> she listed off thirteen inanimate objects just now. This is very common. I've heard people talk about this, and I will admit I've made out with a pillow. I mean, that's I've like done the pillow. That's like you know middle school, but like you know. Not, yeah, but yeah, but I'm saying like as an adult. I was getting my free throws in, man. Hilarious. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you want to talk about practice? Right, I know yeah. all about practice. Yeah, practice. I had practice every day after We're school, talking about and practice. then every night with my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I've gotten a lot of good kisser compliments. Yeah. So I'm not embarrassed to tell everyone I have made out with my pillow. That's so funny. Okay. Yeah. And what now the- I cuddle a pillow at night. I don't make out with it, <laughs> yeah, but I hold it in my arms. Yeah, like, I built up a real chemistry yeah. with this pillow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this pillow yeah. been through a lot of shit together. No, yeah, like, so... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, like, but I get like being able to coach sex because cause sex is more like, uh, oh, a little to the left, you know, I'll oh, do like this or whatever. Like, it's, yes and it's no, more, it can be little directions like that, but it's it can, like it can be that, but like, but also it's like there's there's things that you actually like in the bedroom. Yeah. Like, are you into hair pulling? Are you into aggressive? Are you into softer? Like, are you know that kind of stuff? Mm-hmm. So you can like kind of fine-tune those different things but kissing is like you have a style of kissing and it's like yo if you're toothy or just like you for some reason you've like you're like a cow when you like you do like cow bites you uh, know i had like, one that was like the no tongue pure emptiness yeah or and like, I was straight, like i don't know what's happening straightforward lizard tongue where yeah. people don't understand that kind of shit so i'm like yeah, that's like wired into you at a certain point where it's like it's like, do you have rhythm or do you not? Can you dance or can you not? Like, <laughs> okay, but but people could argue with this going: Are they a bad kisser or do they just not match your kissing style? That's f- and uh, essentially, I think that is true. Because like Palufo, I was like, but if the kissing's bad, how can you have sex with him? She's like, I don't. She goes, I don't like making out. And I was a little shocked. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, nah, it's fine. Yo, that's insane. Making but out. so that means like, so someone that I would go bad kisser might be someone that's great for her. She don't even like kissing. Hmm. I, I'm always interested when people don't uh, kiss when they when they hook up. Do you mean like, I mean, there's levels of kissing on the hookup. Like, you mean like during sex? Or you just mean like they or, don't make out for a minute? They don't make it. out for a minute into Yeah, it. me too. That's I don't so know. wild. I'm like, how do you do like? What do nah. you do? It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. You just start in the the middle of the movie. Uh, literally. Like, uh, what what is that? Th- there's nothing more unreal than like starting to hook up with someone. The clothes are coming off, and then like the dude goes and grabs a condom, and you're like, what? Are yeah, you you're doing? like, you. I'm like, what? My like, bro, you could try, but that's not. Yeah, that's not, that's going not anywhere. happening, man. Yeah, that's not happening. No, nah. you, you <laughs> nah, we're not doing we're not doing that shoving mood uh, ever again. Yeah. Ugh. 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 <laughs> it's so bad <laughs> so bad oh there was a question i thought of to get like a man's opinion on with you but now i'm blanking oh i want to know this. something with all this hold on okay i do have something that i i've talked to you uh about mm-hmm. uh off mic of so i had <laughs> i had this situation with the comedian that it was i had never really been in this before of um 
basically dudes that t- always take like forever to finish when you're having sex. Mm. And it's something that it's like first time, second time, whatever. You're, it really didn't bother me at all. But it's like all of a sudden when you're on like fourth, fifth time hooking up, mm-hmm. it does start to get to you where you're like, what? What is it? Is it? Yeah. And it's so hard for it to not feel like it's you a little bit, even though you're like, I know it's not me, but it hits a point where you're just like, never. Like, it feels like you're yeah. like, never. is this dude ever going to? Well, he could either be the type that's in his head. I that mean, could that, be one that thing. was him. Yeah, that could be one thing. Or it could be. There's something he's not telling you that he mm, needs that, yeah. for him to finish. Mm. That that could be my theory. Like where it's like, yo, I don't want. It's like I need her to to spit on my balls right now, and mm-hmm. that would put me over the edge. But I can't tell her. But like, why can't you tell her? May, maybe I'm just saying this person, yeah, they, like, like yeah. in in whatever scenarios or like whatever, like the guy may not be fully comfortable yet being like, I need this to be a little more like. Mm-hmm you know xyz it could be a yeah. little more you know aggressive or it could be a little more you know like th- touch it this way or whatever it is okay like he may just not you know have the comfort built up with that partner to you know say what it is he truly needs or likes and sometimes like it gets past the point like where it's like it's like, oh, I was almost there, but then it kind of went away. You know, it got switched up. Because women have that, too, where it's like, you'll tell a guy, keep doing that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, okay, I'll keep doing that, but at a higher intensity. And it's like, no, <laughs> I didn't want that. Yeah. I wanted consistency. Um, And then if you do that enough times with a dude, it's just, it's, your dick's just like, oh, I guess we're just not going to do this. Like, we'll, we'll it'll mm. just hold off. But in that scenario, do you think it is good to go? Is is there something you want to do? Is there anything you need from me? Like, because I did say that eventually. Mm-hmm. If I just was like, is there anything you want or like mm-hmm. I'm not doing? Please tell me. And he always was like, no, this is so great. Like, it's yeah, not, like he's like, it's nothing to do with you. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's always like positive to communicate with whoever you're hooking up with. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a huge proponent of that. Like, you got to communicate. Well, yeah. Like you gotta either, like before, during, whatever. Like just like, what is it that you like? What is it that you're comfortable with? What is it that gives? Because like people need coaching. Like when you're when you've only been <laughs> hooking up with people, uh, somebody for like, you know, like a a, a couple weeks or a month mm-hmm. or whatever. It's like you two aren't fully like you can have chemistry and it can be good or whatever. But like there's still things where it's like you gotta get the full, you know connection in where it's like oh i know how to yeah i know how to play your notes yeah but there is something like weirdly vulnerable about someone fully knowing all your notes hey you gotta play that music baby I know. Hey, listen be a conductor not complaining but it's like uh it's like a le- it is a level of vulnerability and opening up a little bit even know, if I you're don't... not into like some crazy kinky shit there's just something to being like shit they know exactly everything like what is that though what is that with y'all like with the vulnerability thing because i'm like i want to know yeah i want to know what what gets you because i want to please you and i and i'll straight up tell the person like what it is that Mm -hmm. like i like i'm i don't really have that at least with set like that vulnerability wall Mm -hmm. where it's like it doesn't scare me for you to know what i like you know Maybe uh, it's like I guess when I was younger, maybe there was a slight vulnerability to it of like, kind of like what I said earlier of like, you're younger, you're not uh, for most women, you're not consistently having orgasms from sex. Mm-hmm. So then, like I remember, maybe there's like once or twice. There's specifically one time that's in my brain that was like in college, and it was something of like, I don't know what exactly we were doing, but it was like, oh shit, I might come, mm-hmm. and then weirdly I shifted everything. Some weird instinct made me just like shift whatever we were doing to something else like so and i you, remember so later that you being wouldn't like, come and I, yeah i remember later being like why did i do that you cock like, block yourself yeah essentially i cock block myself and i was a little like why and it's and i don't know if it was like because like i didn't want them to like f- see my face or whatever like i don't remember but i remember like right after being like why did you do that 
Yeah. Like, something in my head was like, why did you? And it's almost just this thing of like, I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, it's like, was so it just I wasn't actually fully comfortable with this person? Or even or was it almost like a slight panic of like, wait, what's happening? But it's not like I don't know what an orgasm feels like. I was giving myself orgasms. Yeah. But just he was there was something of getting it from the other person that I weirdly was like, oh, why am I? Huh. Why did I just make that move? That's and I, so, I still to this day can't figure out why I did it. That's so interesting. Well, I mean, you're, you know, you're young at that age. Yeah. So it's like maybe just like a fear intimacy thing at that at that time yeah but there's but there's almost something to like i don't know if it's just like it makes it more exciting like not directly telling everyone everything Mm -hmm. like put it this way right i literally have a joke about this and it's so funny how i've dated people where they've seen this joke and they have not done this Uh about basically kissing my neck yeah right like my uh eggs benedict essentially never did Never would, never did. Yo, what he saw me perform what are you so many times. doing out there? Listen, <laughs> there are some dudes on the Patreon if you want to talk to them. What are y'all doing? Like that should be like a given. Uh, you would kiss think, a neck. That's like that's like uh, that and a hand in the hair. Crazy how many dudes just don't do it. Yo, kissing the neck. That's the milk to the cereal. That's like, what they I would go think. Go hand in hand. Like you just gonna sit here and eat dry ass cereal. Mm. You better throw some milk on that bit. Yeah. Kiss the neck. I know. Listen, I know. But there's something to being like, if I tell a guy like, oh, I really like when you kiss my neck, that's like one thing. And most people are like comfortable with and fine or whatever. It doesn't take the excitement out of it. However, being like, no, 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 right here on this spot. Like there's something to being like, you don't want to say that part. You don't want to say that part. A guy should know that you kiss and it's like you kiss up and around and you go and then you gotta it's like kiss you, like you're you, a metal detector. Exactly what That's I was about to say. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. When the beeps get uh, when the beeps get stronger. Yes. It's like, oh right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the comedian I, I, found my spot and I was like, damn it. Yeah. And he was like enthralled with it. Mm-hmm. He was just so That's like, the thing, dude. Like he was like, this is insane. I was like, I told you yo, it was a that's thing. That's the thing. Like that's where I, where it's like, yo, if I find what it is for you, mm-hmm. like I'm going to drive you crazy with that thing. Yeah. So it's like, and I don't see how guys don't want to find like or aren't in tune enough or smart enough to be like, oh yeah, let's find that thing. Like, a woman will love you for that. <laughs> like if yeah. you're like, she'll put up a lot with a yeah, lot of your shit. She'll put up a lot of shit. She you, won't post you yeah, in a Facebook yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. She'll the let spot. you go hang out with the boys or whatever. <laughs> she'll let you, you know, get, like there's a little uh, bit of extra wiggle room when she's been like, ah, I want to start an argument right now, but he does know how to do that thing. Yeah, and like, yeah. just fucking figure out the buttons, man. I know. Like you can memorize all these Grand Theft Auto codes. But you can't fucking figure out. I mean, you know how to do it. Up. It's like that's the, that's the cheat code. Yeah. The neck or her spot is the the R one R two L one L two up down left right to get the five stars off yeah. you. So fucking just take the time mm. to do that. Like that's the best part, dude. I remember I hooked up with this girl whose ears were sensitive. Oh uh, yeah, that's another one for a lot of people. But this was like unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Like. Where rubbing her ears just between your yeah. your forefinger and thumb, I I wish I was like I I swear this isn't an exaggeration. It would make her come like yeah I multiple don't, I don't times. And I you didn't have to be kissing her or not. You could just rub her ears. She was like, oh my ears are a little sensitive. And I was like, oh really? And I just kept it. And then she was like, ah, ah, and like started like <laughs> freaking out. And then she also like kind of had like the the thing where she was like, you know, kind of afraid to come with that or whatever. I can understand that though, especially like I'm fully but, clothed. But, we're just like cuddling on the no, couch. No, we Some dudes but we were, my ear. we were like in, you know, we were yeah. kind of like already, you know, getting hot and heavy. But like she was kind of trying to like, you know, and I was rubbing her ears and then, you know, just kind of like, you know, held it right there, like the little yeah. control, like Dom really situation yeah. and like kept rubbing and it just fucking blew her apart yeah and and she was like oh shit like i've never never had, let it get that far. yeah yeah mm-hmm. like had like that before and i was like yeah it's like it's it's fine you know There's like i was something. like it's hot <laughs> yeah yeah i've come close on the neck it's very very weird oh it's great though but it is but i think maybe it's almost you're like yeah because no one else no one usually does this but it's fun to fight it's like fun to figure out where it's like oh this also gets me there without even it having to go to like the the obvious spots 
Yeah. And most people do have a weird spot. Like uh, nipples do nothing for me, but mm-hmm. I have friends that are like, oh, I could come from a dude touching yeah. my nipples. I'm like, what? They're right. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. oof, okay. Those are those are special breeds. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like people that have just like the other areas, like yo. it's just like, yo, this is wild. One, you want me to what? Flick your forehead? Dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dude, one girl I know that can come from like a dude just touching her nipples. Uh, she said that to us and we all were like what we we're kind of like yo fuck you like yeah. we we're kind of like mad about it we we're yeah. like oh it's just it's just so easy for me to come yeah. you guys just gotta touch my boobs yeah. or whatever and she she literally goes guys i'm literally allergic to gluten and dairy <laughs> she's like this is like the one thing i get to have yeah let her have that and we were like oh yeah now you phrase it that way yeah you, you deserve can, you to can't have eat it. no pizza yeah like, you, come can't on. Eat, you can't eat a lot of shit yeah you pasta. basically have to cook all your own food yeah it's like all right no. let her come from her nipples yeah then. when you hook up with a with somebody like that it, it almost almost feels like cheating like you just like it yeah you're like what like yeah i think that's what the comedian it? felt this, he was like this is nuts yeah this, this is like what i, I have you. to do and you're like okay all yeah. right i guess this counts mm-hmm. it's like it's like having steph curry on your team <laughs> hey three pointers go a long way they right? do you can make up for a lot of mistakes if you can put the ball in the basket that's that is right. a, that is a basketball quote to take <laughs> home with you that also applies to dating <laughs> Which I think is true, honestly. What's your, Have you ever hooked up with a guy that had a weird spot? Ooh, a weird spot? I, don't know, I can't really think of a weird spot. I have one guy friend that cannot come from, like, head, no matter how good it is, you have to lick his balls. <laughs> don't ask why I know that. But But even for him, he was like, for a long time, I, like, wasn't super comfortable, like, saying that. Yeah, it's something about balls, man. Yeah, like, like also just it's like they're already doing so much to be like, well, yeah, you also have to do this one thing. Because it's like the dick is one thing. It's like the dick is a given, but to ask for the extra, yeah, I feel like, like he got comfortable with it when ass eating became popular. It's like, all right, well, I'm not asking her to do that. Yeah, ass so, eating is mad popular. Ball lick, right now. all right. Um, which can we can we wait? Can we clarify? This is a total side thing. Yeah, when someone says like to suck on a guy's balls uh-huh. right or a guy's to suck on my balls does it mean put the whole ball in your mouth i i yes for, for that but but my, one of them or both of them what well because they're attached yeah i know i guess one because i've been but down I'm there also, being like do i put the whole thing actually in my mouth i mean you could you could Is it you kind could, of like a suck you could water balloon them you, you could know? water balloon them you could grab them like but where it's, it's like, like a, both the balls are like in the set and then you could you know like what? lick and put both of your mouth if you want it but, uh, but we need video for this answer but by, yeah, yeah, i don't have video of that you can go to reddit or, or pornhub i could direct you to the, the yeah local. send a pornhub link if anybody has any questions let no, me know and i'll get i'll get jordan to research some porn for us but no but but me personally i see that's the thing my balls are i don't like i don't like having my balls suck that hurts for me i'll take well a, that is my second part of the i'll question. take a licking yeah, like most I, dudes lick totally fine. A lick is fine. Also, it's like, yeah, a lick is fine. But and also, sometimes hard. I get like a little nervous because I'm like, hey, you you licking, and I know you are gonna instinctively like suck by mistake, and I'm like, that hurts. Like, don't don't suck. Okay, so that this is the second part of the question. So the first was like, do you put the ball actually fully in your mouth, or is it kind of like you're just your mouth's around it, like a little bit of yeah, a kind of yeah, thing. kind of around it. Yeah. And then the other thing was like, is it literally you suck on it, or like if you put it in your mouth, is it just in your mouth? Just yeah, lightly I, I think it's just kind of. I think it's just kind of in and just kind of like, uh, you know, a lick, like a like a like running a golf ball through the washer, you know, <laughs> like like you don't suck hard. That's the thing too. Women don't understand like with balls, like, like you don't suck that whole like that pop thing that like I don't even the that that oh, shit that like no. people be doing on porn. Don't do that shit. Yeah. Like that, that hurts. Like it's not, you know, that's porn. See, Um, but this is the part, like, this is the equivalent of when I go kiss my neck. I don't want to tell you the spot. mm -hmm. If a guy's just suck my balls and I'm down there, I'm like, which avenue do I take on this? See, that's the thing. That it feels, it feels unsexy if I'm like, do I put it in my mouth Um, or just suck on the light um, side? I was just wondering, um, what are your requests? Could you just show me on this golf ball (laughs) how you would like? Uh, No, but the, the thing is balls are more sensitive. Like balls. You know, this is a very sensitive area for a man. So if it, yeah. if you do it the wrong way, it could be night over. Like it, you know, it, there's for sure. you know, you hit them the wrong way. It's like it's done. Mm-hmm. But uh, so yeah, it's just like just I'd say kind of feel it out. It's like start with the lick, and then you know if you put them in your mouth and continue licking, that's fine. But just don't like suck because some girls like pull like where it's like Ooh. do not 
suck and pull my ball bag. Yeah, no. Like you're trying to like, you know, fucking slingshot them. Yeah. You just, it's just gentle, mm. gentle. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gentle thing. Just how like y'all don't want like some dude just like fucking hammering DJ in on your clit like all hard uh, yeah. right off the gate. Yeah, no. It's like. No. Uh, yeah, but we're sponsored guys. You know, it's funny. I think uh, the ears is something that a lot of women don't do anything for on guys. It's like one of the most ignored spots that could be you know, an androgynous fun- zone. I guess. You know, it's funny. Hmm. I think I think women forget sometimes where it's like, hey, do. I feel like in your part, like do the shit. That we do that you like back to us yeah that's all just reciprocate like it's so like it's kind of forgot like you're saying like it's women forget the ears like yo we like that shit yeah i like being i like being kissed on my neck some guys freak out though of like i've literally given a light peck on the neck and guys are immediately like don't give me a hickey and i'm like bro it's like my other girl's gonna know (laughs) (laughs) don't i'm on this i got posted in this facebook group i'm like yeah but it's just so funny if i'm like dude i literally gave you the lightest peck and yeah. Just, I was like, I didn't even suck anything yet. Yeah. So, no, girls do that too. You'll, you'll be like, don't give me a game. And it's like, okay, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I know I what I'm doing. I'm not 13. Yeah. I got this. I got it. I got this under I control. But yeah, it's like, it's just, yeah, just reciprocate. Like, it's like, it's a mirror. Like, mirror it. Mm. That's all. Kiss the ears, kiss the neck, a little nipple action. It's cool. Yeah. There's, uh, they know it. This guy, Mr. Clean crazy about the nips on him yeah and what's so funny is because he was doing constant nip stuff to me and i finally was like by the way i go if this is like makes you more mm-hmm. into this i was like you're welcome to do it <laughs> i was like i'm just letting you know i was like this really does nothing for me <laughs> you're like you might as well lick that I was wall like, so this over is, there this is all for you yeah you might as well make out with a pillow dog <laughs> yeah. this is doing nothing and he just was like well i like my nipples licked but that's the thing you know it's funny that's the thing it, there's yeah. something that you like a lot you do it to other you people. You do it to other people. Yeah. That's so, why I always go for the neck and guys are like, what is this? Yeah. I'm like, so, I'm teaching you. Right. Asshole. Yeah. So I would, you know, <laughs> pick up on that with uh, whoever you're hooking up with. If they're doing something a lot to you, that means they probably like that thing a lot themselves. Mm-hmm. So then just reciprocate and you'll see like how much it drives them up a wall. Yeah. True. Yeah. What's your line? Like, what's what's the line? If someone, what, what would what do you, you mean, not line? do? Like, if something somebody, I wouldn't do if someone asked me? Yeah. Sexually? Uh, I mean, we talking relationship or like hookup? Ooh. There's a difference? Like, There's a difference? Yeah, totally. Oh, I want to know the difference Totally. Now. Well, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what my line would be in a relationship because I have not been in a very long relationship mm-hmm. that it like hits that point. You're really being like, what's something we haven't done? You know, like yeah that vibe and if when i really like someone i'm very open-minded and very willing to try pretty much almost anything yeah i think in both cases i probably would draw a line at eating ass yeah i don't see myself Do, ever doing, doing it. it yeah could you have it done yeah i've only had that done i think maybe once or twice and i just was like this is doing nothing for me this is doing nothing like it was something it was it was, it was like with the nipples where i was like this is i feel like <laughs> they are very into this yeah and i'm just like all right yeah and i the thing that sucks about those moments is you go oh am i supposed to act like i'm in you know it's though? funny just having somebody's whole face in your ass and you're just like this is nothing this is like shit. they're <laughs> yo that's the most vulnerable thing a person can do to yeah. somebody is eat they ass and then like it's just like and you're like, just looking back like, eh, not for me. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, eh. like, you you having a good time back there? Because I'm nothing yeah. right now. Yeah, that's what, like, it's almost like I've never felt more pressure to fake it. Oh, than someone man. eating ass. That <laughs> But you're sucks. just like, yeah, I don't, like, it's it's a weird thing. And they're like, is this, is, are you into this? Or is this just to, like, I'm throwing a wild card out here, see? Right. Uh, And that was, and both those times were not with someone I was, like, dating, dating. Oh, wow. it was like someone I just was hooking up with. See, I've only done it with people I've been like in very committed relationships. With. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I guess any, never any say never. Anal stuff, I've only done it like with yeah. people that I'm like, like we're together, together for real. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this, the one time was very like, well, what do we? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, <you're just> like, <laughs> uh, like or, like for a minute, I was like, is this what eating asses? Like there was almost this right. voice being like, I think this is what it is. Yeah. Is this what it is? 
all right. Yeah. I was like, all right, Nicki Minaj, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. This is fine. Um, yeah, like it's, that's why I'm like, I guess never say never. Cause it's like, if I love someone and they were like, I really like this and da da da. Mm. I'd be like, you know, it's like first couple times it's going to be like, well, we are showering. Yeah. No, you have <laughs> like, to. Like, come on. Yeah. That that kind of thing is like, it's there's prep work. There's got to be a plan. Yeah. It's like, yo, like shower up, get scrub good. Yeah. You something. know, all that kind of stuff. But I'm like, not going to make you wax it. But you yeah. Know, yeah. Fucking, like um, we're going to shampoo and condition it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. I've never had Whatever. my I've never had my eat. But yeah, my thing is like. Like, I was in relationships with those people, and it's, like, the thing where it's, like, I, you know, was attracted to them so much and, like, loved them so much. Right. Where it's just, like, and, you know, we had been having sex where I was just, like, I was, like, I just wanted to, you know, devour every part of you kind of mm. thing. It's, like, it, it yeah. became more, like, within, like, I ate ass from the heart. <laughs> or it's like oh baby, I love you. Funny. It's, like, I, yeah. I, I, I want to please every part of you, you yeah. know, kind of deal. If you want to hear the rest of this episode, join our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash shooters got to shoot. You'll get over 100 extra episodes, all the behind the scenes. You'll get in on the chat of everyone discussing everything. It's it's some hot shit over there. OK, so just join. It's five bucks a month. It's like if you bought me a coffee every month and we appreciate the support of the show. Helps us uh, pay our studio now that we're doing video. All right. So patreon.com slash shooters got to shoot. Hope to see you there.